before we leave you, almost 80% of Islamic marriages are null and void. This is according to head of marriages at the Registrar General's Department, Ola Delikwiku Aribuke. He says that these marriages are invalid because couples failed to register their bonds legally and therefore is not acknowledged by law. He was sharing his thoughts on the Ghana Muslim marriage and divorce bill under the theme Working Together for a Better Society. Karin Obing was there and has filed this report. All legal marriages are expected to be registered under the Registrar General's Department, but over the years, most Islamic marriages and divorces have not gone through this process due to the strong tie to the Mohammedan law on marriage. To resolve this, the Muslim Marriage and Divorce Bill was put together to synchronize the Mohammedan law and the provisions of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana. But almost two decades down the line, Parliament is yet to pass the bill. In a bid to push for the passage, a civic society organization, Talim Ghana, organized a dialogue under the theme Working Together for a Better Society to deliberate over ways they can contribute to the process. Speaking at the event, the head of marriages at the Registrar General's Department, Oladele Kweku Arubiki, said over 80% of Islam marriages nationwide are not registered. He says the bridegroom, the bride's wali, two witnesses to the marriage, and the Mohammedan priest, licensed under Section 21, shall assume as conveniently may be and before the expiration of one week, after the celebration of the marriage, attend at the office of the district assembly for the purpose of registering the marriage. This means the marriage should be registered within one week of the celebration of that marriage. If it is not registered within one week, that marriage is null and void. And on this, I would like to say that I can say on authority that almost 80% of Islamic marriages are not valid. Meanwhile, Member of Parliament for Asawasi, Mubarak Muntaka, underscored the need for extensive stakeholder consultation to help the process. If we want this bill to see the light of day, we need to understand that we need to form bridges. And uh, for me, the bridges that we need to form requires that we need to have a team. A team that involves members of parliament, a team that involves civil society, I'm happy to see Star Ghana here, a team that involves the Christian community. If we are able to do this, I'm sure by the time the thing will get into parliament, Madam will tell you, sometimes you get a bill that is 200 pages. But because of the heavily consultation that were done, and even amendments are uh, captured, withdrawn, recaptured, so that when it is done late, you don't have much amendment, and you can just use 200 pages, and before you realize, within a week, you are done. Speaking on behalf of the chief imam, Sheikh Arimeyao Shaibu said, the bill when passed will help resolve most divorce cases. This subject that of our discussion um, today, it's, it's a subject of great interest uh, to the national chief as a person. Why am I saying so? I serve on his advisory board, and his office is inundated day to day by issues.